There's, you see that balloon that is attached to that sign? I think that's what she's barking at. Welcome, lovelies, to another segment of Lucia and Bean Behind the Scene. And uh, I think I'm looking uh, pretty spiffy. We have a new line in the boutique. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's from Israel. It's called Kershaw Bran. What I'm showing you is a skirt. It's called the Miri skirt. The fabric is fantastic. It's like a brushed, it's a, it's like, it feels like velvety, flannelly, uh, so comfortable in the winter. Anyway, it is an, um, a beautiful mustard yellow with the dots, as you can see, and um, a nice taffeta long pocket. It's functional because it stops here, but it goes on uh, for visual, visual, it goes on, but there's a stitch line here. A uh, nice elastic waist, and then of course the slit is, uh, you know, ooh la la. I paired it up with the boxy top from uh, Lucien Bean, and as you know, our boxy tops are one size fits all. Uh, the sleeves are quite long, we like to cuff them because it gives it an extra interesting look. It's got a quite a uh, wide neckline, which um, we like too because you can wear a shirt underneath, you can do your scarf, you in the winter if you want to layer you can do a turtleneck or just show it like that. It's a lovely, it's a lovely neckline. And this is of course our French terry which is a fantastic fabric as well. I'm wearing a same while laking, one size fits all. And I chose this mustard yellow scarf from Cresas. It's a silk cotton scarf. And um, I think it goes wonderful together. And then to finish it off, the ball necklace from Angel. Uh, every video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my uh, application because you lovelies are very interested in it and I get questions. So uh, we went to this little seaside town for the first week where my sisters live. It's called Kastrikum and it's in the north, the province is called North Holland. And it's 20 minutes uh, by train from Amsterdam, so it's an amazing location. And you go on your bike and you bike for 20, 20 minutes, yeah, not 20 minutes, that's all, to the dunes and you come to this uh, beach that uh, you see the North Sea. When I step out on that beach, I, I feel so alive. It's amazing. I don't know what it, what it is. It's the salt air. It's always windy. Um, it's white, white sandy beaches. And then uh, the, the marvelous thing is that you can walk from beach to beach to every little town all along the coastline. And every little town has its little cafes on the beach. So you can have your class of Jose and your cappuccino and then you walk onto the next one and you have a cup of soup. It's just fantastic. I, um, the, too bad the day we were there was a little foggy, so we couldn't, you know, see to the other towns or to the other towns. But it was still amazing. I still had my taste of the sea. And uh, we, from Kastrikum, you can bike to Alkmaar, which we did one day. And uh, Alkmaar is a historic, a lot of these towns are medieval, right? And Alkmaar was, founded in the 1600s. They have, all these towns have squares and in Alkmaar on the square, there's a cheese market. So it's from the olden days. They used to bring, all the farmers would bring their cheeses there, these big round cheeses, not little pieces, but round cheeses. And then they got weighed and then the individual buyers would come and buy them up. Well, once a week, they still do this. They, they re reenact the cheese market. And uh, we weren't there for that day, but uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, town. So my sister, Margaret, and um, my partner, Clan and I, the three of us biked. She is in her 80s and she bikes everywhere. She owns a car, but it never comes out of the garage, except when it's very, very, very uh, raining. It comes down cats and dogs, otherwise she bikes everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a way of life, right, in Holland, so, uh, and I, I love it. We biked on regular bikes when we were with her, and it's true, you think you have the wind in your back on the way. Like biking to Alkmaar was about 20 kilometers there, 20 back, and um, we had the wind uh, against us. So uh, then you think when you bike back, you have the wind uh, with you. No, it's never the case. The wind always turns, so you always have the wind against you. So it was still lovely. 
that is my little snippet of my first few uh, days in uh, Castricum in the Netherlands. I hope you, you like my stories about my travels. But uh, again, I met a lovely woman at the airport as, uh, when we left here for, uh, for, for the Netherlands. It was amazing. I always meet, uh, meet uh, women at the airport. We did take a picture. I will try to find it and post it. Um, okay, I think uh, I'm going to change and show you a different color in the skirt because the skirt comes in a different color. I'll be back. So uh, I've changed, ladies, and um, this is the same skirt in khaki. I turned it around so the pleat is in the back. I quite like this look uh, because it's a little surprise when you turn it around. And uh, the other thing is nice that this skirt is definitely a walking skirt. It's got a large, uh, the slit is large enough that you have lots of room to walk. The boxy top from Le Chambine. I'm wearing a little camisole underneath from Saint-Moi because of course you can wear it like this. I find it a little more interesting like this. And I also like to layer, always wear a camisole. And I found this amazing scarf from Cutloose in the stripe that is not exactly, but it's far away from each other and it's it's nice. I think it complements it. I found an amazing bracelet from Jackie Brazil with different colors, green and the one little black stone and the one multicolored one. It's really, it's exquisite. Okay, I hope you liked this segment and uh, we will be back again tomorrow morning with another video. Please like and subscribe us so uh, uh, more lovelies like you can watch us. Keep on smiling.